I'm sometimes asked whether we use mathematical optimization techniques to design Bloodhound. Well, it's a nice idea, but there are practical problems in doing so. For instance, if I draw a nice mathematical optimization of a minimum drag shape, I get something like that. But it's not a very practical shape. For instance, we need to accommodate jet engines and rocket engines. So I will need to cut the back end off so that the uh, jet E-flux and the rocket E-flux can be accommodated. Now the jet engine also needs an intake. So I need to modify the front end as well so that air can get in the front. And our driver, because he's driving at a thousand miles an hour, does insist that he's got to see where he's going. So I'd better accommodate him by putting a forward facing screen. This not only enables him to see, it has another advantage. The wedge shape there causes a shock wave which pre-compresses the air going into the intake. Now this surprisingly increases the efficiency of the intake particularly at supersonic speeds. Indeed at the maximum speed of Bloodhound that shock wave will increase the thrust of the jet engine by some 10%. Now another thing we have to bear in mind we're not after the airspeed record we're after the land speed record. So I'd better draw the land in and that means we need wheels as well. Now that introduces another problem. The air arriving from the front, a lot of it now gets squeezed under the nose and causes increase in pressure. And this, at the high speeds that we're going, would be quite sufficient to lift the front end of the car off the ground. So to counter that, I droop down the nose so it is much closer to the ground, so less air can get underneath, more air hits the top of the nose, so the lifting force from underneath and the down force on top balance each other out. The other problem we have is to ensure that the front end does stay in the front. For that we need a fin. So now we have the shape of Bloodhound, but it is nothing like the mathematical shape that we started with, purely because of practical considerations. <laughs>